Have you ever wondered where the television signal you are watching is coming from? Seguin Island Light Station has stood patient guard, watching over the treacherous waters at the mouth of the Kennebec River for over 200 years. It is the second oldest lighthouse in Maine. The height of the island boosts the top of the tower 186 feet above sea level, making it the highest lighthouse in the state. Often shrouded in fog, its mighty fog horn was once heard in Bath, 14 miles north of the light. Many come to this beautiful island to visit the lighthouse. Some come to ask about the ghost. The captain has been heard walking the winding spiral staircase to light the lamp of the tower. A little girl has been heard, playfully bouncing her ball and running up the stairs to the house. However, some say the most haunting experience of all is the mysterious piano music that drifts upon the wind. But on this island, fact is even more astonishing than lore. This nine foot high Fresnel lens is the only continuously operating first order lens north of Virginia. It is an engineering marvel. Crafted by Henri Le Pau of Paris, it came to rest in the tower in 1857. Using just one lamp as illumination, the lens is able to cast a focused beam over 20 miles. In 1985, the lens was scheduled to be dismantled by the Coast Guard, but was saved by a local organization called Friends of Seguin Island, led by Ann Webster. Webster reminded the Coast Guard that because the lens was an aid to navigation, it would take an act of Congress to dismantle it. And the lens still serves today. One of the unique features on the island is this 756-foot tramway. It is the only operational tramway in Maine. Today, automation of the light and horn has eliminated the need for traditional lighthouse keepers. Visitors are welcome to picnic and enjoy the island during the summer months. But it is Seguin's dedication to the mariners it serves that leaves the lasting image, a noble monument to a seafaring way of life. Proud sentinel of the sea.